we are in the port and I got the uh, note from the chief engineer and it says that BG4 alarm breaker NF2 is tripping so he, he wants to check why NF2 breaker is tripping this is for the generator number 4 uh, governor so we will be so we need to check that one So we have four generators on board and each of them are using digital governor controller and the type of governor installed in each generator is an actuator type. The actual speed of the engine is read by a pulse pickup from the wheel. Then the control unit compares the actual speed with the preset value. If differences are stated, the new actuator signal is calculated by the CPU and transmitted to the actuator via the output stage. Feedback from the actuator indicates the current position of the output shaft thus allowing optimum signal adjustment by the CPU. But for the day, we have this problem as the breaker NF2 is tripping. So just like what I have said from my previous troubleshooting, I always start from the supply. So the first thing I did is to measure the input voltage. And as per wiring diagram, it should be 24 volts. And then I measure the resistance of the lines after the breaker. Then I proceeded to the wiring diagram as the NF2 breaker leads me to the noise filter. And then I removed the output wires of the noise filter and measured the resistance. So the noise filter gave me an infinite resistance. So after the noise filter, it leads me to the terminal block which supplies different consumers. So I have decided to remove these loads which are being tapped on these 24 volt supplies. This is for me to see which is the one is causing this short circuit. Then I check also the diodes which are installed also on the circuit if they are still effective in keeping the forward bias. So after checking the diodes, I found out that they are still okay. And I moved to the checking of this voltage fixator. I removed the input signal and then switch on the NF2 again. So after switching on the NF2, it tripped again. So I have decided to move to the next circuit in which it leads me to this K21, K22 relays. So I remove all these relays and switch on again the unit but it tripped again.
and the last system that is connected to the source is the main controller. So I remove the wires which is connected to the L of the controller or the wire 22. So after removing the wire 22 which is connected to the controller, then the NF2 did not trip. Since this is a controller, so I assume that there might be a short circuit on the output of the controller. So I proceeded to the actuator and remove the drive and feedback jack cable. Since this is the one exposed to the outside and the one that is always moving, so I assume that the trouble might be coming from this. So after removing the jack cable, then the NF2 is still tripped. Assuming that there might be a cut on the cable or causing the short circuit, so I directly remove the output cables from the controller. With no output cables connected, the NF2 is still tripping. So within this condition, I assume that there is problem with the controller itself. So I have decided to dismantle it and check the condition of the PCB. So I check the PCB, I check the connectors, I check even the smell if there is a sign of burn and I can't see any abnormality. Going back to the wiring diagram, the supply voltage or connections are going to the terminal L, N, and U. So I was thinking, what if I will supply 24 volts DC in these terminals and see what will happen to the breaker? So I bring the controller to the workshop and after connecting, Voila, the breaker tripped. So it means that the problem is coming from this controller itself. So after the thorough check, we have found out that the controller is the problem. And the controller is tripping when we switch on the NF2 breaker. So that's it guys, so we have found out that it was the controller which is the problem. So we sent mail to the company and the company said that we need to land the controller because this one needs the configuration and it, it is not just a plug and play. So they need to download all the information on the controller and then they will send it back to us. We don't know how long it will take, so for now the generator number 4 cannot be used because of this DG governor controller problem so I will give you further updates on that one so for now that's the way on how I troubleshoot this one on how I found out that it was the controller is the problem so I hope you learned something from this and please do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more ETO updates thank you very much